Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope your day is going great so far. I hope everybody in the office is being nice to you. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a tip from a command that's been around, I'm going to say in the first couple of releases of the software. It's been there forever. And I've been doing some of the Augie CAD camps, and I've been teaching a class there called 75 Tips in 75 Minutes. And in that class, I share this, and I find that people are always writing it down. So I thought I would share it with you because it uh, seems to have caused some interest. So uh, the command I'm talking about is the change command. Like I said, it's been around forever. And most of what the change command does we have other commands that do that nowadays. But uh, here I have a scenario on my screen where I have these four lines. And if I wanted to make these lines longer, what would I do? I'd probably draw a construction line and then use the extend command, right? I'm going to show you a faster way of doing that. I am going to key in change because it's not on any of the menus. It's such an old command. I guess the Autodesk figured you didn't need it anymore, which I disagree. I'm going to go in the change command. I'm going to go ahead and just grab my lines really quickly. And I'm going to make sure that my ortho is on. Okay, it was on. Um, you'll see why in a, in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and pick wherever I want those lines to end. You'll see it says specify change point. Okay, where do you want those lines to end? Just move your cursor and click. I didn't have to draw any construction lines, and all of those lines have been extended to that point. Right? How easy is that? Now, let me show you what happens when you do it with uh, out the ortho one. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go back into the change command. I'm going to use my up arrow key to pull back the change command because I don't want to type it in again. Hopefully you know that using the arrow key will bring back previous commands, one, one command at a time. All right, so let's go back in the change command. I'm going to go ahead and select my objects. Now, since I did an, uh, an undo in there, let's make sure the ortho is off. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and pick my point in space. This is what happens when the ortho is off, and lo and behold, all of the points are converging. All the lines are converging at one point. Probably not what you wanted. You never know. Maybe it is. So I'm going to undo that. show you one other thing. You can also use the change command to make lines shorter. Check this out. This would be a scenario where I would uh, probably use the trim command, to be honest. So let's go back into the change command. And I'm going to have to keep checking, make sure my ortho's on. I'm going to pick the same lines and pick where I would like them to end at. Let's take our O snaps off so they don't cause us any problems, but you could use O snaps. I'm going to go ahead and just pick an arbitrary point, and you'll see that all of those lines have now been shortened very, very quickly, no construction lines. I mean, it doesn't get much faster than that. So that is a quickie tip for you on this Tuesday. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give the change command a try because there's actually some other cool things you can do in it with the change command. Maybe I'll show that to you at a different date. Uh, have a great rest of the week, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.